Welcome to the future. It's 2716, and it is most excellent. But it almost wasn't. 700 years ago, Paul Rudd changed the course of history by showing the world that anyone could grapple with the concepts of quantum mechanics. It sparked an era of invention and ingenuity the likes of which humanity had never seen. But the Great One almost let this opportunity slip away. So for the sake of our future, I was forced to send a message 700 years back along the time axis to prevent his failure. What is this? Paul! I didn't wake you, did I? There's a role for this guy who gets his teeth kicked in. I thought you'd be perfect. Um, hey man, this is gonna sound strange, but I think I just got an email from you from 700 years in the future. That doesn't surprise me. I don't age. Once I truly master entanglement, communication via closed, time-like curves should be straightforward. Oh yeah, that makes total sense. Hey man, next time you talk to future me, find out if I'm still jamming with my band Dogstar. Alright, I'm hanging up now. Hanging up. Yeah, hi, this is Paul Rudd. I'm uh, calling to ask why you haven't invited me to speak at One Entangled Evening. Stephen Hawking? No, well, um, he can open for me. <laughs> no credentials? What are you talking about? I'm in SAG. All right. How about if I best your precious expert at a game of quantum chess? Winner gets to give the speech. Public? By tomorrow? No problem. I can, I can, that's easy. That's, e that's totally easy. Hello? Hello? Hi, Siri, could you call Stephen Hawking? Calling Stephen Hawking. Hey, is this Stephen Hawking? This is Dr. Hawking. Oh! Well, this is Mr. Rudd. <laughs> Who? Office hours are 3 to 5 p.m. Oh, uh, no, look, I'm just, I'm just calling, uh, to challenge you to a game of, uh, of quantum chess, and the winner gets to give the keynote address at Cal Poly. Hmm? You mean Caltech? What makes you qualified to speak on quantum mechanics? Well... I'm in Actors' Equity. It's, a, it's the theater union. But also, I've been to the quantum realm. I've, uh... I've been there. I've seen it. I've felt it. What about you, Big Shot? What have you done? Okay, punk, you are on. I shall crush you like an ant, man. Ah, so you do know who I am. See you online. 5 p.m. GMT. GMT? What does GMT mean? Is that like LOL or something? Quantum chess. A variant of regular chess in which every piece is endowed with quantum powers. Take this queen, for example. Unlock her true powers, and this quantum queen can move twice in a single turn. The catch? There is an equal chance the queen never moved. The opponent may attack any of the queen's positions, forcing her to reveal her true location. By pure chance, the queen is actually there. The bishop's quantum move is overruled. The queen wins this battle. I don't understand any of this. This is but a glimpse of the new possibilities. The full power of quantum chess is far greater as our story will reveal. Oh. Oh, I'm probably gonna lose.
I must have a chess book in all of these. Ah! A legal trap! <sighs> Never again. Never again. Yes! I think I'm ready. Are you ready, Paul? I'll make this quick and painful. Painful, I think that's a typo. <laughs> that is not a typo. Oh. At 12.03 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, January 12th, 2016, the battle for the future began. It is a story that has been told for generations. The game began with what looked like a standard opening. But Dr. Hawking was setting up actor Rudd for a legal trap that could have ended the game and our future before it even had a chance. Oh, come on, that's a legal trap. Look at this, he's trying to beat me with regular chess moves. That almost took five minutes. What a colossal waste of my time. You fell for one of the oldest traps in the book. Checkmate. That's right, Redmane. And you fell for one of the newest. Schrodinger's king. Actor Rudd's king was now in two places at once, in quantum superposition. The doctor had to choose one, and hope that the wave function would collapse in his favor. Superposition. Maybe this guy is not the cubic rube I took him for. Just like Schrodinger's famous cat, Rudd's king was both alive and dead. Because of that uncertainty, the game had to go on. Merely delaying the inevitable. I'm guessing here, but you sound worried. That's so. With a brilliant counterattack, Hawking leveled the playing field. The game soon turned into a grueling marathon. Trap after trap, feint after feint, the battle went on. But eventually the scales tipped in the doctor's favor. Rudd was down to his final two pieces. Our future hung in the balance. Ah. I have you now, Brian Fantana. A well-fought match. Concede now. Salvage some dignity. <sighs> okay, my king is in superposition. I only have one move left to turn the tables. How can I get my bishop to the edge with my king in the way? Wait a minute. What if the pieces could somehow pass through each other? Entanglement! Entanglement is the key! Future Keanu was right. Check this. I hope this works. Otherwise, that one liner is going to come back to haunt me. With an ingenious move, Rudd set up one last opportunity to win the match. The fates of his bishop and his king were now joined by the power of quantum entanglement. What happened? Was that a glitch? No matter, I'm ending this. Dr. Hawking pressed his perceived advantage, using a quantum move to smash actor Rudd's king. With both pieces in the same space, a quantum measurement was needed to decide the game. Was Rudd's king dead, or was he alive and well, with the bishop in position for the checkmate? Yes! Yes! Shamat! Checkmate! Alright, Keanu. God, what's that line from Bill and Ted that will work so well right now? Shut up, Ted! Oh, yeah, that's it. Of course, thank you. Shut up, Ted! On that celebrated day, 
Actor Paul Rudd defeated the greatest mind of his generation, Dr. Stephen Hawking, in a game of quantum chess. Children that would one day revolutionize physics saw the walls fall. Paul had cracked open the universe of possibilities. My present and your future are forever grateful. Oh, I did not touch your bishop. Entanglement, Dr. Hawking. It surrounds us and penetrates us. It binds the galaxy together. Nerd.